Hey friends and family, thanks for tuning in to tonight's Thursday Night Thought. I'm no longer standing outside because I actually don't have contractors in the house right now, so it's a good feeling to be indoors, and it's a really good feeling because tonight's thought's very intimate. So if you would like to go shut a door around you or just close off the distractions, it would be a great time for you and I just to sit here and share love with one another. And what does that really mean? And are you opening to love in your life? Because this week's message is very, very powerful and I have a lot of different things I wanna share with you. So, the message is this. A vision must include love or it is incomplete. Understanding is not enough to manifest what is in the heart. Therefore, open to love, dare to dream, and pray with boldness that the most beautiful vision you can receive will come to life in service to all love. So this week's message came in on a vision of a book that I have and I felt called to go grab this book and inside this book, the book's called Goddess, Breath in Stone and you probably can't see that because it's engraved into the cover there but it's by Gloria Joy and it's a collection of artistic representation of the goddess of this woman and it starts off in this beautiful well I'm gonna share it with you actually it starts off called buried treasure and I will warn you this book has artistic nudity in it so if this is something that's offensive to you you can go ahead and turn the camera off but I'm gonna share it because I feel like it has massive massive value to us this week plus part of this week's message so this you can see from a distance there is a goddess in stone and then there's a woman and they're two separate entities and it starts off and it's called buried treasure and as you progress through this book it's continued art pieces and beautiful quotes that go along with the piece and I felt called specifically just to pick up the book and to open to a spot in the book and figure out how it applies to this week's message. And I opened to love. And the painting is this. Is that not breathtaking? And the the representation is that the god the the statues in stone which happen to be a man and a woman in this beautiful embrace and then the feeling of the woman and this feeling of ecstasy that she has. Okay? I'm going to, and then the story continues. I might as well just take you to the end here because it's so good. The story continues to the end and it's called Wisdom. And at the very end, you see that she's no longer a statue, that it's, it's one, one woman and the engraving is on her of the different representations of her journey. Is that not beautiful? So we're going to talk about love tonight. We're going to talk about this concept, feeling. Oof. We're going to share in it. And I want to share with you the quote that goes along with it. To love is ecstasy, enchantment, passion, and joy. I can see the face of God. The mutual revelation of one soul to another brings a depth of understanding that can only be reached through the beloved. So this idea of love as a feeling, as a connection to someone that you love so deeply, can you think of a time in your life where you experienced that, where you had such, such emotion and feeling for another individual, maybe even in that incredible embrace with your lover. You don't have to have a lover right now, but I want you to, even if you've never experienced it, I want you to think about what this would feel like, okay? Because that is the feeling that I want to bring in to this week's message, which is all about vision, right? 
So this idea that a vision must have love in order for it to manifest. So we're talking about our dreams that are actually visions that live in our heart that must have this breath of love in order to manifest. So I'm gonna, don't worry, I'm gonna tie it all together for you here in just a moment. So I want you to think about a moment where a dream was placed in your heart. And this dream is very specific in this message because it's a dream where you are in service to others. That's called love. And this dream was placed in your heart. And in the moment it was placed in your heart, I bet you had a feeling of ecstasy. I bet you were glowing. I bet there was a part of you that felt so loved and in love with what was placed in your heart. When you saw it, you felt it with everything in you, right? And it was an intimate experience because it was only placed in your heart. It was placed in your heart for a reason. But maybe you, like me, have been on a journey of trying to make that vision, what you saw in your heart, a reality in your life, and so you've gone after it, and you've tried to make sense of it, and you've tried to work for it, and you've tried to do everything you possibly can, and it hasn't manifested. And maybe you sat back and you asked yourself questions like I did, like, why? Did it not manifest because I'm not good enough? because I didn't go to college, because I don't have the money, because I don't have the right mate, because I la 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 la. The list, fill in the blank. I'm here to tell you that the reason why the dream hasn't manifested is not because of anything outside of us. And I can actually stand in a place today where I'm thankful to life for collapsing the things around me in order for me to realize that it's not the vision, it's not what I thought I saw in my heart. Because when I was in that space, I was trying to understand it. I was trying to ask questions, why, what, when, right? Everything that I could possibly see in front of my eyes because it represented the vision. But what did the vision really hold? It held that feeling of ecstasy. And I realized that that wasn't going to come from the accomplishment of the dream. So if I couldn't make it happen or if you couldn't make it happen, then there's this feeling like you're not going to feel that ecstasy of its manifestation. So what's, what's life worth living for, right? Life showed me this week that it doesn't matter anything outside of you because you can have that feeling right here right now you really can you can open to it you can ask for it and I can guarantee it will come to you if you're open because I don't believe that we serve a God that would put dreams in our heart to serve others and call that love and not allow it to come to its manifestation the key element of it is that we feel it. And that's a gift that we can give ourselves and give to others at any time. Do you feel that? I feel that deeply. And it happened to me this week just in a moment of listening to music and allowing my body to dance and, and feel that feeling of inspiration breath, right? I want to, want to share something really interesting about this book. Do you know that that lesson of love doesn't come until after gratitude? And gratitude doesn't come until after chaos. So if you've been experiencing chaos in your life around your dreams, around what we've talked about these last few weeks, around looking at your life. Was that not the most awesome metaphor last week about how if we stuff things in boxes and we just don't want to look at it, it attracts bugs, right? But the moment we let it all out and we have to look at it all, it's overwhelming. But then if we stop to see what is excellent and we focus on that only for the love of what is excellent, now we can appreciate and we can open and we can start to feel what that is, that passion 
and that comes so chaos gratitude is the door that opens us to love and at the core that's who we are and that's really was my intention of sharing this week's message feeling this week's message to know that your dream doesn't have to manifest in order for you to feel again in order for you to have that breath of inspiration just in a flower that you walk by and want to smell in nature it's a gift it's a moment of ecstasy it's a moment to make love to the world around us we don't need a man or a woman for that that's the beauty and that's the truth And then I want to share with you this quote that I read. Do not store your dreams in your eyes, for they may roll down with your tears. Store them in your heart, so that with each heartbeat it will inspire you to fulfill them. I believe our hearts is where we feel that love, that passion, that inspiration. And if you're ready to open to that, I want you to set an intention with me. That even if you don't know what that dream is, or if you've gone so far past, if you think that you're not worthy of having that dream come to manifest in your life, if you feel like it's not even possible, you don't have to see anything. The confirmation of this message is that you have to feel love. And love is who we are. It's who I am. It's who you are. We are created in God's image and God is love. And it's okay for it to feel like ecstasy and it's okay for it to feel like passion. Can you open to that feeling in your life? Because when I was shown very clearly that we can open to that, then guess what? We are manifesting it because the vision came with the feeling. Oh my gosh, I'm just feeling it all over right now, just sharing it with you. So I pray that this message has encouraged and inspired you. I pray that you feel the love. I pray that you share the love. And I can't wait to share next week's message. Thanks for tuning in, and I look forward to our next Thursday Night Thought together.